What is going on guys? It is Spenna from the Vala Airsoft channel bringing you a new episode where today we're going to be reviewing my personal knee pads, which are the Hatch x tech knee pads. And also Deaver is going to be explaining to you guys why exactly you should buy knee pads for Airsoft. So Deaver? So it seems pretty self-explanatory. If you've been in Airsoft for any amount of time, you'll notice the pain if you ever have not had knee pads of kneeling down on BBs when you are taking fire or trying to fire upon an enemy. It hurts a lot. Indeed. So, <laughs> this is why you need knee pads. I've personally used uh, skater knee pads my whole time, um, but there are definitely some cons to that. You know, they slip around a lot, they're kind of bulky. So, Spencer is going to talk about uh, his knee pads that he's had for how long now? Uh, I think two months now. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, these are the Hatch X, uh, X Tac knee pads. They are $20.79, interestingly, on e bike. Um, they come in black and ACU, for some reason not not tan yet on e-bike. I've seen them uh, tan on Airsoft GI, but unfortunately not yet on e-bike. Uh, some of the major features of these knee pads, on the inside you have a rubberized uh, patch that has been stitched into the center of the knee pad, which prevents your knee from sliding while playing. Now this is very important because most knee pads, if you buy them, uh, they won't have this in there and it will just allow for your knee pad to slide even sometimes all the way down to your feet, which has happened to me quite a few times and is very annoying uh, and actually led to my old knee pads breaking. Also, another cool feature about these is the adjustable straps, but more noticeably, these clipping straps so that you only have to adjust it once. So if you adjust it once perfectly, all you have to do is just clip it in and you'll hear an audible little click sound when it's in. Also, this clipping mechanism allows you to cross the straps, which is a lot more comfortable in my opinion than if you were to uh, do the traditional way, which is just going straight across to the other little pin on the other side. Now, the only downside I've found so far with these knee pads is the shape of the knee pad itself. Um, while the plastic and all the, the foam materials are very durable, Unfortunately, the shape kind of uh, creates some difficulties when playing. What I've noticed is that uh, when kneeling down on one knee or even two knees, it's very unstable. There's no flat surface here for you to actually sit your knee down. So a result of this is that your knees tend to uh, feel a lot more pain uh, when kneeling. It requires a lot more strength in your legs and stability in order to keep that uh, keep your knees level, um, which can get, uh, which you can get used to, but it's kind of an unnecessary pain to deal with. Um, and most other knee pads don't have this, but uh, unfortunately these ones do. Now I also want to show you guys my old knee pads, which are five dollars cheaper on Amazon, or sorry, not Amazon, Evike, and that's exactly why I bought them because they're only fifteen bucks. And for beginners, fifteen dollar knee pads isn't that bad. But after two years, you can see that they've taken uh, quite some visible wear. Uh, one of the little plastic uh, rings here has actually split off and broke during gameplay, so I had to use a little metal belt ring to replace that. Uh, also, last time I went, or the time before that, this knee pad broke clean off. The Velcro, or sorry, not the Velcro, the stitching that was holding this ring onto the knee pad itself just broke right off and now they're absolutely done. So I had to get replacement knee pads and that's why I chose these. Um, so obviously, like I said earlier, most other knee pads don't have that rubberized padding and these ones do not, which result in tons of sliding. And like I said earlier, they sometimes even slid down all the way to my boots, which is very uncomfortable. And that's actually why these broke. Uh, they had slid down so far that I was trying to readjust them and when I was doing that, I pulled it up from my knee and it just broke right off. So as we conclude, uh, basically, uh, knee pads are really important in airsoft. It's really important to get a nice pair that's gonna last you. Um, and, you know, for, for such a seemingly pointless or, uh, you know, trivial thing to wear, as opposed to like gun or gear, it's, uh, it's really important to, you know, invest in a good pair. And I think both of us can attest to this that like, you know, not only is it worth getting a pair, but you know, invest in one that's gonna uh, have these good features such as like the rubberized padding that's just gonna stay on your leg where you want it to go. So, um, so yeah, it's, this is our first review. So leave a comment and a like and uh, 
what we can do better, what you guys want to see, reviews, uh, and please uh, go check out our other videos on our channel, and please subscribe. And yes. I'll, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Spin them out.